It's been a busy week for Microsoft. Azure Firewall Premium achieves general availability. Microsoft acquires CloudNox. And there's even a Defender for IoT special report on AZ Update. Let's get started. Welcome back to AZ Update. Let's jump right into the news. First up, Azure Firewall Premium achieves general availability. We talked about this back in February. There is a plethora of new functionality that's being made available under Azure Firewall Premium. And we also have the steps in terms of if you're on standard and want to migrate to premium, you can do so via the steps that are provided inside of the blog post. So let's go through the items that are of interest that you want to take a look at when you're adopting Azure Firewall Premium. The general availability release of Azure Firewall Premium gives the following key features now made available. TLS inspection, so the ability to terminate outbound and east-west transport layer uh, TLS connections. An inbound TLS inspection is supported in conjunction with Azure Application Gateway, allowing end-to-end -end encryption. IDPS, Azure Firewall Premium now provides signature-based intrusion detection and prevented system to allow rapid detection of attacks by looking for specific patterns such as byte sequences in traffic or no malicious instruction sequences used by malware. Web categories allows administrators to filter outbound user access to the internet based on categories. So as example, social media networking, search engines, and et cetera, reducing the time spent on managing individual qualified domain names and URLs. And last but not least, URL filtering allowing administrators to filter outbound access to specified URLs, not just FQDNs. This capability works for both text and encrypted traffic if TLS inspection is enabled. As mentioned, all the functionality and steps are detailed. Uh, the link's made available on itopsdoc.com that you can actually move your organization from Azure Firewall Standard to Azure Firewall Premium. Next up in the news, as mentioned earlier, Microsoft has acquired CloudNox Security. And this is a big deal in regards to utilization for identity management, specifically Azure Active Directory. Let's get into it. The acquisition of CloudNox further enables an organization who uses Microsoft Azure Active Directory with granular visibility, continuous monitoring, and automated remediation for hybrid and multi-cloud permissions. Microsoft is committed to providing customers with unified privilege access management, identity governance, and entitlement management. This is exciting news because this investment into CloudNox further extends the capabilities on behalf of organizations utilizing Azure Active Directory to be more granular in their deployment and ensure their end users are secure. As mentioned in previous episodes of AZ Update, there's more and more interest surrounding IT pros looking at IoT deployments and ensuring that they are secure and they're deployed and managed accordingly. I had the opportunity to sit down with Matt Sozman to talk about the Defender for IoT offering that makes it one pane of glass that IT professionals can utilize to secure their full gamut of IoT and the rest of the architecture that they support as well. What was great about this was the live stream provided a full-on demo uh, to go through what was actually being done and what can actually be reported on on your implementation of IoT. Everything from the attack vectors that could occur to the remediation steps that would be required to achieve you know, that instance when there's an attack, how it could be taken care of. The full live stream is available on the IT Ops Talk YouTube channel and is actually made available inside of the blog post as well on itopsdoc.com. Last but not least, the Microsoft Learn module of the week as always, we tie in these learn modules directly into the news that we've reported on in the, each episode. In this instance, we're focusing again on security, specifically around managing identity and access through Azure Active Directory. This course provides you full insights in terms of what are the best practices to set up Azure Active Directory accounts? How do you structure single sign-on functionality? How do you include Azure Active Directory and single sign-on into third-party applications, and how do you manage the capabilities of those users that are using this solution? Awesome resource to take advantage of. Do check it out, Managing Identity and Access in Azure Active Directory. As always, we're here for you in regards to your questions, so feel free to leave any questions that you may have in the comments, but all the material that's been reported on. If you want to get a hold of me, you can do so at Wireless Life on Twitter. If you want to get a hold of producer Pierre, you can also get a hold of him on Twitter at Wired Canuck. Have a great weekend, everybody, and we'll see you soon.